Hi everyone, Thomas Desmond here, Developer Advocate at Sitecore. And today, I'm going to be covering the front-end UI methodology, component-driven design. I will be covering what component-driven design is, its benefits, and a tool you can use to think of your designs in a more component way. Maybe you're going to find out you've already been doing component-driven design, or maybe today, you're going to learn a new pattern for your front-end development. Let's jump in. So let's start off with what is component-driven design? Well, modern UIs can become complicated and difficult to maintain if not built correctly. Those consuming the content want beautiful, interactive UIs, which often can mean complex work for front-end developers. So how can we best maintain a complicated UI with many interacting elements? That's where component-driven design comes in. Component-driven design is the practice of building interfaces with very modular components. You want to break up your UI into the smallest buildable elements and piece those together, sort of like Lego bricks. So breaking down your components into the smallest pieces you can. And just so that we're on the same page, let's take a look and just define what a component is. A component is one or more HTML elements with its associated JavaScript or TypeScript. So a button with a label on it that prints out hello world when it's clicked, that could be a component. Or maybe you have a UI card that shows off a person's profile picture. That could be another component as well. We want these components to be small and serve a single purpose. That Lego brick analogy works really well because with a single Lego brick, we don't have a whole lot of functionality. We don't have a whole lot of purpose to it. So that's why we want our components. We want them to be very singular. But pieced together, these Lego bricks can create very complex structures with very cool looking designs. So we can do that with our own components, taking these small components, piecing them together to have our nice applications. Let's even take a look now at componentdriven.org and see what they describe as how to be component driven. And we start off with that very simple layer of build one component at a time, building each of these components in isolation. And we want to start small. So that single avatar, a single button, maybe a UI card, something really small to have a single component. Once we have that component built, we can combine our components. Think of putting all those UI cards into a list or having all those buttons together on the header. So thinking small for a single button and building out to maybe put those all in your header. Gradually increasing the complexity. Once we have some of those combined components, we can create a page. So we want to assemble our page, build that out with our data. And I'll show you later a tool where we can use mock data to build out our components and see how they're going to interact when we build them up and put them together. And that final step is going to be integration with your project, where you want to hook up all of your events, create that interactivity, and see all your components come together. So again, we start off really small, just the buttons, just an avatar, just a tooltip, going to combine those to actually get some functionality into them, getting a little more complex, then building out the page. And finally, we integrate that with our application, building out the full application, giving us our events and hooking up to our different APIs. If you've built out an application with Sitecore JSS and Sitecore Experience Manager, or Sitecore XM, you've probably been doing component-driven design and you may not have even known it. Sitecore Experience Manager really encourages component-driven approach. This is because as the front-end developer, you're encouraged to create small components that then the content authors can use to place on the page. So it's really the content author building up the pages and you're building out these small components. So component-driven design is actually something that's been encouraged with Sitecore XM and Sitecore JSS. Now let's take a look at some of the benefits of component-driven design and why you might want to push for it and why you want to embrace it even more than maybe you already are. One of the biggest benefits is focused work. Now you can really focus on individual elements, focusing on the smallest elements. Stop thinking about your UIs at a page level and start thinking at the smallest component level. Break it down as small as you can. What's nice about component-driven design is that you don't need to worry from the beginning about how your components are going to interact with each other. Just build out your component the way that you want it to look, the way that you want it to be, and we can build in that interactivity later on while we're assembling the components. We can focus on our work at the smallest level. The second major benefit is going to be reusability. Because we have such small modular pieces, we'll be able to more easily reuse them in different parts of our application. There's no reason that a component should be built for just one page. It can often be used on multiple pages throughout your application. Having this reusability can help speed up your development process. The last benefit is going to be distributed work. 
Now that you have your components built on small levels, you can distribute the creation of your components to multiple developers. It's easier for people to develop these components in isolation and then bring them together at the end. Components are separated from one another, so even if in the end these components end up on the same page, they can be developed in isolation from one another. This allows for more parallel work to be done and again can help speed up your development process. So the big three benefits that I see with component-driven design are that focused work, the reusability, and being able to distribute that work among your team. So now I want to share a tool that's really helped me think in a more component-driven way, and that tool is Storybook. Storybook is a tool that's fairly new to me, but can really help with that component-driven design process. Storybook is an open source tool for building components and pages in isolation. It gives you an isolated canvas away from your front end framework to build and test your UI components. So you're not only able to build your components with Storybook, but you're able to test them as well. So these two really important features there. I have found Storybook extremely helpful for developing components away from Sitecore XM and JSS. I'm able to just focus in on Next.js and build my components from there and transfer those later inside of JSS or XM. Let's take a look at Storybook and see how it can actually help you with this more component-driven design process. As I mentioned, Storybook lets you design your components in isolation. So I'm actually running Storybook locally on localhost 6006 here, and I'm able to see the components that I've created. So I'm not gonna get into how I set up Storybook. There's a lot of content there, but I do wanna show off the tool so that you can become interested in it as well. So here I have a component. This is my single video component. It has the video, a title, and some information down below. You can see on the left-hand side is my video component, and I have my default one showing up right now. What's really cool about Storybook is that you can create different variants and show off how your components will look given different data that you provide to them. So right now, this is my default. This is what I expect a good happy path video to look like. But I also have and very easily created a no title version. I'm going to see what does my UI look like? How does my video change if there's no title associated with it? And now this is the smallest component that I wanted to create, a single card that showed off a video, a title, and some extra information. Now with that, in my actual application, I wanted to build out a video teaser, something that shows multiple videos. So I took this small component and then incorporated that into my video teaser to now have a larger component able to show multiple videos. So here is my default version of the video teaser. I have four videos here with mock data that I'm bringing in through Storybook. I can also have, what if there's no videos? If I no have no videos, it just shows the title and the description text up above. If I have a single video, this is what my UI would look like. And if I have 12 videos, I can see how that's gonna look like as well. You can see how the screen changes, how these videos shape up on the screen. So this is something that I think is really cool, can really help you develop your components in isolation, focus in on the UI, focus in on styling your elements, see how they're gonna look with different data provided to them, and really helps you with that component-driven design process. So I think Storybook can really help you out with your Sitecore XM and Sitecore JSS development. So component-driven design is a methodology for designing your front end. It allows you to focus your work on a single element of your UI and keep things modular. That modularity helps you with the reusability of your components. And finally, since things are so small and modular, you can help distribute the work amongst your other developers on your team. Maybe you were already doing component-driven design before, but now you can be more purposeful and diligent with it, or even try out Storybook to help you out along the way. Or if it's new to you, I hope you can try it out on your next UI build. If you like this video, please leave it a like and tell me what you liked about it in the comments. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.